Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 27th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. In this tutorial, we're going to check out the tput command. Now, tput is a very versatile command and it can be used to do a lot of interesting things. Uh, if you wish to clear your terminal, you can do that using tput. If you wish to determine the number of rows and columns you have in your terminal, you can do that using tput. If you wish to print your characters in bold, you can do that using tput. If you wish to position your cursor at uh, any location on the terminal, let's say at the 20th column of the 15th row, then that can be done through tput. And uh, there are a lot of other cool things that you can do using tput. So I won't waste uh, any more time. I'll open my text editor and I'll create a shell script that demonstrates how to use tput. So there you go. On the first statement, I'll put in a comment like uh, tput in action. And uh, let me first save this file. I'll save it in my home folder. I'll give it the name ss11.sh because this is the 11th script file in the series. On the next statement, on the next line, sorry, I'm going to use a tput to clear the terminal. And the way I do that is tput space clear. Isn't that simple? Now, uh, my dollar prompt will not be displayed after I clear my terminal using tput, right? So I'll basically have a blank neat screen and that's uh, what tput does for you and it's different from the ordinary clear command that you use in the terminal to uh, basically take the rubbish off. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use tput to determine the number of rows I have on screen. And let me first do this and then you'll understand what I mean by it. I'll first use echo to display what I'm actually going to display total number of rows on screen is equal to and I'll use the slash C escape sequence to make sure that my value is printed immediately after the equal to symbol and not in the next line right and then I'll use tput to find that out for me and the way I do that is by using tput space lines. So this basically calculates the number of rows you have in your terminal, right? And uh, next, I'll use echo to display what I'm going to display next, which is the total number of columns I have on my screen. Is equal to slash c and uh, tput space calls isn't that simple so t put space lines will return the number of rows and t put space calls will return the number of columns on the next line i'm going to use t put to position my cursor at the 20th column of the 15th row and it's really very simple all you have to do is type in t put first and then give a space and type in cup that's cup and uh, then you have to type in the row number and the column number that is where you want your cursor to uh, blink or do whatever it's supposed to do so since I am, I'm gonna do it on the 15th row and the 20th column I'm gonna type in 15 space 20 so 15 is a row here and 20 is a column on the next line I'm gonna use tput to instruct the terminal to print in bold and the way I do that is by typing in tput space bold there you go and then I'm going to use echo to display a statement to test whether the bold mode is actually active or not. This should be in bold. And on the next line, I'm going to use uh, echo to return to my normal mode of printing. And the way I do that is by typing in the escape sequence or the format sequence slash 033 opening bracket. 0m that's the code for normal printing and I'll just type in bye bye to mark the end of my script so there you go my script is ready I'll save it and I'll uh, fire my terminal and uh, I'll use sh to execute my script and uh, the file name is ss11.sh and when I press the enter key you see that my dollar prompt does not appear on the very first line instead I get the output of my uh, tput lines command so the total number of rows on screen currently uh, is 39 and the total number of columns on screen is 168 and on the 15th row and the 20th column well this uh, is being printed there and uh, t is actually at the um, 
20th column of the 15th row and I don't know how you can check that but you know trust me uh, this is working and on the next line you have the output of your echo statement in the normal mode now if I resize my terminal that is uh, let me first uh, minimize my text editor and uh, if I change the size of my terminal right you can see that in the center I'm actually getting the uh, rows and columns I don't have to use tput to find that out for me like over here you can see I'm getting 88 cross 21 and if I enlarge it then I'm getting 108 cross 24 maybe uh, it's actually pretty um, you know faded I am not sure if you'll be able to see it in the video but you know when you resize your terminal by uh, you know uh, by basically holding on the edges and uh, you know dragging the cursor you can see the size in the center but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear the terminal and I'm gonna execute the script again and you can see that now my row and column values have changed the total number of rows I have now uh, is 22 and the total number of columns I have is 105 so that's what dput does for you it counts the total number of columns this way and the total number of rows this way that's uh, horizontally for columns and vertically for rows so there you go that's uh, our discussion on dput in the next tutorial we're going to check out uh, how to use uh, selection constructs like the if else and the if uh, then else or the if elif or the case construct to make uh, selections and to branch uh, control from one point to various other points in your shell script so it's gonna be um, an exciting tutorial trust me on it thank you so much for watching this one and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial please subscribe to my channel